Hello, welcome to another Stat 432 video. Uh, in this video, we'll do just a very brief uh, overview of week number four. So we'll head there on the website. Um, right, so this week we're going to um, introduce uh, the second machine learning task that we're gonna talk about this semester, which is classification. So um, in, in, in a lot of ways, that's, kind of the the only new thing we're going to see this week because we're going to again look at k-nearest neighbors again look at decision trees again do test train splits of the data again calculate uh metrics uh to evaluate these things although the metrics will be new but but really we're sort of going to take everything we learned about regression and then as much as we can map it on to classification so basically we're just going to I don't want to say highlight the differences between the two, but but really hopefully as we introduce classification, you, you'll have these thoughts of, oh, I already knew that. Oh, I already knew that. Oh, I already saw this function in R, that kind of thing. Um, but so the, the, the main idea that we're introducing this week is classification. So uh, as always, uh, reading from the textbook, uh, videos, uh, like for example, this one that's being created as we speak. Um, so, uh, this week we are releasing quiz four, uh, but don't forget that you can still continue to get 100% on quiz three, as well as uh, a decent amount of credit for quiz two. Um, regular office hour schedule this week, um, Piazza as always. Uh, some interesting reading here. Uh, I, I think especially um, these two, I think are will be highly informative uh, for folks in this class, I'd really love to see you read those, although you won't be tested on that information. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it for week four. Um, I just want to put something on your radar, which is that next week um, we will be discussing and reviewing, maybe, maybe not directly reviewing, but but next week, so, so oh, let me be very clear. Okay, so week four starts on February 15th. And then the homework, or that is quiz, is due uh, Monday the 22nd, which is during this week that's called uh, exam one. I should note that um, this information isn't here yet. So so this week, we're, week five is from February 22nd to February 26th. Uh, but if we go look at the syllabus real quick uh, and look at the exam information, so the first exam is on March 1st. So the way to think about this is that, so you see how the quiz that's released in quiz, the, the quiz that is released during week four, this one is due the Monday of week five. So week five is the exam week, but as if there was a quiz this week, it'll be due the Monday of the next week, that is week six. So the, 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 the I guess this is slightly confusing, but it's, I'm trying to keep the schedule consistent. So the exam is on the first day of week six. So that means you'll have week five to essentially study. There'll be nothing new in week five. That's sort of the quiz week. It just happens that uh, I wanted to keep the assignment schedule sort of the same. So the exam itself will be uh, on this Monday. Uh, and, and obviously we'll talk about that when I do the, um, the welcome video for next week. I just wanted to make you uh, aware of that now. Um, I, I will be posting uh, in, in this week, I'll talk, uh, you know, where I, the usual stuff I post here will generally be replaced by information about the exam. Uh, I'll probably do that, you know, sometime in the next week uh, to get you that information a bit ahead of time. Uh, but I just wanted to make you uh, aware of that. For, from your perspective, uh, I guess I should say, okay, so now I, I started talking about the exam, so I should say a few words to reassure you. Um, so you, you, uh, the obvious question is, oh, what can I do to prepare for the exam? And the, the way I've structured this course, the, the most important thing for preparing for the exam is doing the quizzes leading up to the exam because the format is a, you know, a nearly identical. So there'll be very similar questions. They will be in Prairie Learn. They will require you to use R. So basically um, the quizzes are direct preparation for the exam. So how do you prepare for the exam? Well, go back and redo the quizzes. Because um, don't forget, you can repeat the quizzes an infinite number of times, and once you get it correct, you can't lose points. So you can just keep doing it and generate new uh, variants and do the questions over again. 
And the, the, the really important thing in my mind to, 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 to know that you are actually prepared for the exam is to be able to do the questions without having to reference the textbook or reference your notes or, or find some code that I wrote somewhere and copy paste it. You should be writing all the code from scratch yourself and be able to do it without having to reference external materials. Um, that to me is the indication that you are actually prepared for the exam. If, if, you, if you think to yourself like, oh, I, I know where to look up this code, that's not the same as knowing, oh, I know how to do this. So just keep that in mind. That, that's, I, I found that, that um, that's kind of the difference generally between students who um, find the exams uh, very um, easy, is not the word I wanna use here, sort of, sort of very manageable versus students who generally struggle from a um, time perspective meaning they have to spend way too much time looking up how to do the code then changing it and not really knowing what's doing rather than just sitting down knowing the code that's necessary and going from A to B. Okay, uh, but that's too much about the exam. I'll talk about that plenty next week. So um, yeah, anyway, so uh, that's our introduction to week four. Okay, so as always, if you made it to the end of the video, good job and I'll see you in the next one.